Hey YouTube, it's Pace2K here and today I got a brand new video for you guys over Imani Bates and uh, this video is pretty much because of Kevin Durant's birthday which was on Sunday and a lot of people if you guys didn't know are comparing this brand new high schooler to Kevin Durant. They're pretty much saying that he's going to be the KD 2.0 or the baby KD of the league and uh, honestly that makes me really happy because Kevin Durant was definitely one of the best players I've ever watched in general now keep in mind i'm pretty young but you know i definitely think that he's one of the best offensive players ever if not you know up there with the, the very best but anyways though let's go ahead and analyze or even break down imani bates game so as you can see right here i got a side-by-side -side comparison of kd and imani bates and uh, as you can see bro their measurements are literally the exact same except kd weighs four more pounds than imani and that's literally the only only difference right there but they literally play the same position they're the same height the same weight pretty much as well and uh, by the way this was KD's senior year measurements and this is Imani's sophomore year measurements so that just shows you right there once Imani is completely done he's just gonna be a monster he's gonna be a freak of nature a quick little disclaimer before we actually get to his abilities on the court is I just want to say that uh if you if you're gonna take this video the wrong way and say that oh I'm just saying he's either gonna be the next Kevin Durant or he's gonna be a bust then just leave the video because this is not what I'm saying at all like this is not the purpose of this video this is literally just to acknowledge his game and you know show how he's really similar to KD in high school it's not about like oh if he doesn't you know end up like Kevin Durant he's just gonna be a bust I'm not saying that at all so if you're gonna take it that way then just leave like I said and uh, yeah let's go and get back to the video though so the main reason why he is actually compared to KD is definitely because of his scoring abilities you know he can score from all three parts of the court you know mainly the paint and then you also got the mid-range and the three-point line so yeah by the way i forgot to mention this as well from three point line from the three point line i'm sorry he actually scored 70 straight points well not points but just 70 straight three pointers in a row in a workout with his dad and i thought that was just crazy to me like wow 70 straight now i'm not sure if it was a high school you know court or uh, an, an actual nba three-point line i'm pretty sure it was a high school one though as you can see in the video it doesn't really look like an nba court but um anyways though that's still super super impressive you know that's definitely like a long mid range on a regular nba court so you know that's just that just shows you how good he is from mid range as well but anyways though the main thing about him is definitely his pull up game from the mid range and also from the three point line it's literally just like kd's if you watch kd at all just pull up it's literally the same thing you know their jump shots are a little bit different but you can definitely see the similarity in this past season he actually averaged 28.7 points 10.2 rebounds 1.8 steals and 1.8 assists per game throughout 25 games in the 2018-19 season and he also led his team to a 21 and 4 record so like i said that's just absolutely amazing he also made the game winner at a buzzer beater in the regional championship game like come on man like how do you draw up a better story than that and then you know he also got invited to the usa basketball junior national team training camp in october so yeah like i said his career is just gonna get absolutely insane from now on you know a lot of people like i said are already you know calling him like the next big thing and he's only a sophomore like really just think about that for a second you know once he actually goes to college or you know if he chooses to go overseas that's just gonna you know uh block awesome his game even more and by the way i think he's going to michigan state you know he has actually been in a lot of pictures with uh michigan state players like miles bridges for example but anyways though um yeah he's probably going there there's also like kentucky who's an option but anyways though that's not really important either way i'm definitely expecting him to go to the league and uh yeah 
On the other hand, you have KD who obviously had a lot more of a bumpy road, you know. He wasn't very, very tall once he actually started in high school to play basketball. And he actually started out in the National Christian Academy for two years. And then he actually moved on to Oak Hill Academy. And for his actual senior year, he ended up moving on to Montrose Christian School. And uh, he actually grew five inches at that point and he started out as 6'7". So he he obviously ended up getting the 6'9 by the end of that year but that just shows you he had a lot more of a bumpy road so you know if if Imani can just you know stick to what he's doing now just imagine how good he's gonna be because you know Kevin Durant struggled then uh, you know if you actually just have the same work ethic as him which is very hard to do obviously but if you do and you're also you know having a better start off to your career then just imagine how far you can get so I've actually also seen him around a lot of NBA players which is very very good for him to be around them you know to develop his game and work out with them and all of that you know I've seen him around Miles Bridges like I said before so yeah I'm pretty sure he's going to Michigan State but anyways though you know you've also got Jason Tatum who he's been around and uh, they've worked out together I believe so that's really really nice because you know they have some pretty similar games and uh, he's also talked to LeBron himself you know through Bronny Jr who who he had a game against this uh, earlier this year, I believe, and then they talked after the game. So I'm sure, you know, LeBron gave him some great advice after that game. But, you know, uh, the main one is obviously KD. He's actually, you know, uh, took him under his wing a lot, which is really nice of him to do, obviously. So, you know, Imani's got KD on his side, which is definitely a great thing to have you know uh, people compare them so much and if they're actually friends outside maybe not friends but like uh you know uh, maybe kd's teaching him and everything then that's definitely a really really good thing to have so yeah definitely really happy for him right there but anyway so let me go ahead and uh move on so kd did just join the brooklyn nets obviously in the off season after his uh injury in the finals which is gonna keep him out for a whole year you know all the way till 2020 which really really sucks i really wanted to see him play this season but you know i definitely want him to have a speedy recovery so you know definitely get that over with but um yeah that's pretty much the end of the video i really just wanted to talk about this you know in ceremony of kd's birthday you know just kind of talk about a player who really reminds me of him back in high school so yeah definitely a guy right there in imani in imani bates and uh yeah if you guys did enjoy that though make sure you leave a like comment what you think his uh, stat line is gonna be in this next season coming up and then yeah i'll i'll go ahead and see y'all boys out also subscribe if you haven't already <laughs>